Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Earlier, Piers Morgan slams Prince Harry for brazen double standards over wanting police protection in the UK. Piers Morgan is once again slamming Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, this time over accusations and reports that they are using their royal titles to fleece King Charles after the death of Queen Elizabeth. The disgraced broadcaster recently suggested that the Sussexes have made a deliberate choice to pop their heads up as the king deals with the loss of his mother. Piers, who has never shied away from criticizing Prince Harry and Meghan, admitted that if it were his decision he would strip them of their royal titles completely. Morgan also insisted that Prince Harry should be denied protection from the British police force upon his next UK visits. On the other side, Prince Harry's lawyers say he complained about Queen Elizabeth's staff failing to follow up on his offer to pay for his own police protection, Newsweek can reveal. The Duke of Sussex was stripped of his Metropolitan Police bodyguards at the end of March 2020 as part of his exit as a working royal. Harry had offered to pay with his own money to keep the team on during a meeting with the Queen, King Charles Ayumi, Prince William and royal staff at Sandringham in January 2020. Since then, Harry has launched a judicial review lawsuit against the UK Home Office to get his police team reinstated. A court filing, seen by Newsweek, for his lawsuit against the UK newspaper, The Mail on Sunday, shows Harry was unhappy with the response from courtiers, including Sir Edward Young, Elizabeth's closest aide, and Sir Michael Stevens, who is in charge of the royal family's finances. Harry's lawyers wrote, Prince Harry had expressed his willingness to pay for police protection at the Sandringham meeting, attended by Sir Edward Young, private secretary to Her Majesty the Queen amongst others, and he never resiled from, abandoned, that position at any time thereafter. On the contrary, prior to the issue of his judicial review proceedings, he had complained about the fact that neither Sir Edward Young nor Sir Michael Stevens, keeper of the privy purse, had got back to him about whether he could pay for police protection for himself and his family, despite their having said that they would do so. Though, it was not clear from the filing whether Prince Harry complained to Young and Stevens directly or to others within the royal household or royal family. So what do you think guys, please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.